Another important item of information provided in the verses of the Quran is the developmental stages of a human being in the mother's womb. We then form the drop in the embryo and form the embryo into a lump and form the lump into bones and clothed the bones in flesh and then brought him into being as another creature. Blessed be God, the best of creators. It is clearly stated in these verses that in the mother's womb the bones develop first and then the muscles form which wrap around them. Until very recently, embryologists assumed that the bones and muscles in an embryo developed at the same time. Yet research conducted by virtue of new technological developments has yielded such accurate conclusions. These researched findings are just as it is described in the Quran. First, the cartilage tissues of the embryo ossifies. Then, muscular cells that are selected from amongst the tissue around the bones come together and wrap around the bones. This event is described in a scientific publication titled Developing Human in the following words. The shape of the skeleton determines the general appearance of the embryo in the bone stages during the seventh week. Muscles do not develop at the same time, but their development follows soon after. The muscles take their positions around the bones throughout the body and therefore clothe the bones. Thus, the muscles take their well-known forms and structures. The stage of clothing with muscles occurs during the eighth week. In short, developmental stages of man, as described in the Quran, are in perfect harmony with the findings of modern embryology. Emeritus Professor Keith Moore of the Department of Anatomy and Cell Biology at the University of Toronto is one of the eminent embryologists in the world. He is one of those scholars who have identified this miracle in the Quran. Professor Moore examined the verses concerning human birth and announced his conclusions in these words. It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Prophet Muhammad from God or Allah because most of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Prophet Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ كَفَرْتُمْ بِهِ مَنْ أَضَلُّ مِنْ مَنْ هُوَ فِي شِقَاقٍ بَعِيدٍ فَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآثَاقِ وَفِي أَنْفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى Prophet Muhammad 